You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. November 17th. Today's topic is Purity Precedes Prosperity. Today's reading has both corporate and individual applications. The prophet Ezekiel talks about the Lord scattering the children of Israel throughout many countries because of their sins. One recurring theme in scripture is the land vomiting its inhabitants due to their wickedness. Bringing that application to contemporary times, we can deduce that where the best and brightest of a nation flee the land to seek greener pastures everywhere, it is often the result of widespread iniquity in the nation. But we find in today's reading that the Lord is able to restore his people to their country through his mercies. He promised to gather them back from the nations where they had been scattered and bring them back to their own land. Ezekiel 36, 24. However, he did not stop there. Our memory verse says, The Lord will cleanse his people of their filthy behavior. How does God do this? The Bible teaches that the word of God acts as purifying water, making us clean. Ephesians 5, 25-26, King James Version says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. This is why reading and meditating on the scriptures daily is so important. The word of God literally cleanses us from the wrong influences of this world. Note also that based on our memory verse, it is after this cleansing that abundance and prosperity come. I will give you good crops of grain and will send no more famine on the land. Ezekiel 36, 29b, King James Version. Sadly, many Christians often focus on prosperity without purity. But in God's pattern, our lives should be cleansed and morally good in His sight before we seek material gain. One of the reasons for this is that money tends to magnify whatever is already present in our lives. If a person is living in sin and then acquires great wealth, the likelihood is that he will apply that material increase in increased unrighteousness. God's aim as we read the scripture is that we may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. 3 John 2, King James Version. Thus, in his model, it is the positive transformation of the soul, the mind, will, and emotions by the word of God that prepares us to enjoy material and financial prosperity. Practical Reflections 1. Do you have great dreams of material increase but no desire for spiritual growth and purity? 2. What steps can you take today towards achieving the prosperity of your soul? Thus, laying the proper foundation for material and financial prosperity in accordance with God's pattern. Our Bible reading is from Ezekiel 35 to 36, James 1, 1 to 18, Psalm 116, 1 to 19, Proverbs 27, 23 to 27. Our memory verse is from Ezekiel 36, 29, using the New Living Translation. I will cleanse you of your filthy behavior. I will give you good crops of grain, and I will send no more famine on the land. We would love to hear from you. Please send your messages and prayer requests to our email, office at logosofflameministries.org, or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries, and drop a message. God bless.